head crack, you might know me from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. You might be following me on Twitter, or you might have seen me like rock a show in your city. But today, I'm here to tell you how you can make like the ill sandwich in the comfort of your own home. Cause a lot of y'all cats out there got real lazy cause you got like, you know, the subways, the Jimmy Johns, the Schlotskys and spots like that. But I'm gonna show you how you can make like that ill situation right in your own crib. It all starts with the stuff you buy. Like today I went to the grocery store and like I was like, you know, I don't wanna eat nothing like real crazy, fatty or whatever. So, you know, I picked me up some Kaiser rolls and I picked me up some miscellaneous meats from the deli. And let me show you what I got here. And I also cop some boar's head Cajun turkey breast. That stuff go hard too, don't sleep on that right there. Like good quality meat right there, all right? And a lot of people in the sandwich game, you all only like, you know, focus on one type of cheese. Like I get the yellow American, the white American, the Swiss. But yo, don't sleep on the long lost cousin of the Swiss cheese. I'm talking about the Havarti, the Havarti cheese. Yes, it goes hard to paint. It's like a soft cheese. It has some Swiss type qualities to it, but it's real good. Don't sleep on that. A lot of people do lettuce, tomato, pickles, and stuff on a sandwich. I'm gonna put y'all onto some game. Coleslaw instead of lettuce. Trust me on this one. Like, it has the same type of properties that lettuce has, except it's already kind of sweet. So you get like a spicy, sweet sensation, depending on what kind of like, you know, like, you know, like seasons and stuff like that you put on your sandwich. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to construct my sandwich and show you the finished project in just a second, all right? All right, so it's about to go down, about to make this sandwich. Now, first step, wash your hands. I already did that, I did that off camera. Cause some of y'all are dirty. I'll be picking your ass and stuff and then make a sandwich and then put your sandwich in your mouth. It's nasty. You know, and you gotta pick the bread of choice. Like, picking the right bread is real important when it comes to making an ultimate sandwich. I got the Kaiser rolls because um, it's not like a huge, gigantic sandwich. And it's, you know, it's just enough to hold you down. You know, kinda has like a little circular shape, looks like a bagel. Get you a little butter knife. You know, please be careful, because if you cut your fingers off, um, you're going to have a funny looking hand and people ain't going to want to give you dap and clubs and stuff like that. Now, you know, you cut the bread straight down the middle. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Open it up. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Like, a lot of people like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is all good, but I'm trying to, like, you know, cut out as many calories and carbs as I can. I know there's no carbs in mayonnaise, but, you know, I'm trying to keep the calories to a minimal. So, I'm going to put a little mustard on there. whoop de woo Little Frenches. Bam, bam. Spread that joint. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like that. Like that with the knife. Hook it up. Hook it up. You know what I'm saying? Now... Go for the meat and the cheese. Now, I know I got the turkey, but I'm gonna do the chicken. Cause like, you know, believe it or not, there's a rumor that you know, says that turkey got like stuff in it that make you sleepy. And it's true. And if you look at the bottom of the video, I'll tell you what that drug is called. Mm-hmm, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna do the buffalo chicken. Cause I wanted to get with something a little spicy today. So you know, when you lay your sandwich meat, don't lay it down flat. Cause the bread's gonna take over the sandwich, man. It's gonna be like the carter. The bread is Nino Brown, and the meat is the Carter. You want the, um, you know, you want the meat to like, you know, hold up, hold its own against that bread right there. So you know, you do some little folds on it. Boom, hold it down like that. Three pieces, four if you're being like mega greedy. I'm being mega greedy because I'm hungry. I've been up since like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. So boom, that's my, that's my, my meat right there for the chicken. Then you go with the cheese. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the Havarti, man. I'm gonna show y'all real close. Wham. See the Havarti, it's like, you know, like light skin. It's a light skin cheese, but it got holes in it just like Swiss. Throw some of that Havarti on there. Wham. And now for the coup de gras, the finishing touch. I'm making a real basic sandwich today, man. You can do what you want. It depends what you got in your fridge. Initially, when I came home to do this, I thought I had tomatoes. I don't have tomatoes. Those were apples. Things look real different when you're looking at them from the, uh, you know, from the top of the fridge. And it'd be like real early in the morning. So. Scrape a little bit of that on there. A little coleslaw. I'm telling you, don't front on it. And it actually, you know, gives you like a little bit of that mayonnaise kind of property to it. So you got a little bit of mayonnaise kind of taste to it. You got the, you got the mustard, you got the cheese, you got the bread, and you're good to go. Now this is the first time I've actually made this particular sandwich because I usually do chicken or turkey, but we're gonna see what happens. Little hearty joint right there. And this sandwich probably costs you like two, three dollars to make at the crib. And it allows you to like, you know, still have skills that people used to have back in the day. 
I'm, let's go to bite. Pray first. Father in heaven, thank you for the body. Amen. Now you take a bite. Word. Tomatoes would have set this off, but it's good just the way it is. So there it is. Making a sandwich at the crib. Old school style. Good stuff. And by the way. Cassette tape, my state rhymes raise the crime rate. I'm coming off like the dress on your prom date.